So I want to talk about the topic that everyone is very, very interested in, which is how do you securely handle AI compute for AI? And why do we believe in Web3 as sort of the uh, frontier, right, for this to happen? So quick, quick background here, right? So everyone anticipate this. Everyone knows everything going to the cloud. Everyone knows that this is, this is a very, very modest projection, right? Personally, I believe this is going to be much, much higher than that in terms of token market size for uh, cloud data compute. But more importantly, I think most of today's um, cloud solutions are not going to be able to meet the need. If you really think about it, everything is very, very centralized. All of the current data cloud providers are mostly big tech companies that have very, very centralized operations. It's expensive, it's hard to integrate with, and especially when in the near future, everything that we say, everything that we hear, everything that we see, are all need to be autom automatically extracted and processed as they happen. So most of the compute will need to move the edge, and most of the compute will need to move into real time, right? So the, the grapher doesn't show the scale. Right, in terms of the real need. So we're talking about all the AI automated services. We're talking about uh, all the robotics that's coming online. So there's so much data that needs to be processed. There is no way the current solution can solve this problem. And that's why we're here. So we've been working on this since 2019 when we were incubated by Binance Labs. This is something that um, we've been passionate about. and we have now have number of data clusters around the world that are fully automated by Siri protocol. Again, it's a separation of data operation of the data infrastructure from the protocol itself, right? So these are highly customizable, but fully autonomous and sovereign data clusters. And this is um, well positioned to fill some of that supply gap. So the status quo is that that um, it's really hard to say, how are your personal AI agents going to come in and work just for you, right? How do you trust, like just say one service with all of your conversations, right? All of your intimate, personal, professional conversations so that the intelligence can happen for you when you need it, right? That's the sort of the big problem everyone has been talking about. But yet between the big tech the solutions, which are mostly leading the way, and a lot of the Web3 projects who are chipping into it, but at different angles, different fraction part of the problem, uh, we've been focused on a complete end-to-end -end solution. So the only way for AI to properly operate on your data is that they have to operate in a trusted and permitted way. And the only way for that to happen is full sovereign data automation can happen on data sovereignty stack meaning that all of the data access, all of the data compute can all use Web3 type of asymmetrical multi-party data encryption, right? So everything that's uh, processed respects your privacy. So, and also you need to have AI agents ready to be dropped into the data stream, ready to compute, right? So this is what we call, you know, the, the, this is why you have the stack that represents the critical layers of service that you see here. And of course, everyone's data need to be individually encrypted in everyone's own personal data stream, accessible via your own personal data wallets. That's the sort of foundation layer. So to talk a little bit about our integration with Aethier, who is an amazing partner, right? They quickly spun up these uh, H100s, uh, right? For us to hot deploy our agents onto. Um, so just without going too much into detail, the stack here is that at the bottom, we have the foundational layer, which is the secure custody and individual capture of everyone's data stream in such a way that regardless where that data is onboarded, it goes into these unified data streams where that data is fully encrypted, can only be decrypted by your trusted AI agents that's registered on the top tier. And in the between, you have this sovereign data computation layer which is how you can actually dynamically allow data computation to happen in the live stream only by the permitted AI agents. And above that, this is something that's 
we all know that at some point that Asian marketplace will take over app stores, right? That's just a matter of time. And maybe eight years, 10 years, as most of the compute moves to a real-time permitted personal data compute, app stores are just going to be a very, very thin veneer, right, of UI. We all know that's going to happen. So there has to be open standards. There has to be interoperability. There has to be open and registered markets where AI agents can be registered onto. And then de so you can deploy them on infrastructures like what we have here with Aether and allow secure data computation to work on these sovereign data stacks. Okay, so without much further ado, I want to show a couple of uh, real world use cases, right? Uh, use case number one, we want to quickly show how you can uh, secure onboard user data, right, securely, and then have register agents on uh, Aether's uh, uh, infrastructure to, that can be, you know, hot, like loaded and unloaded and hot deployed, and how these agents can access the data streams. Okay, so I'm going to quickly jump into it. Switch to... Okay, so this is one of the Telegram partners. This is one of the partners, uh, Pineapple Dex, who actually have integrated. Uh, you know, they're working with us. They build this application that can actually reward and engage our users using our data infrastructure. So this is a custom bot that actually, where uh, I've already used it. So if you're using it for the first time, it actually uses Telegram authentication to record your permission and also uh, custody your key, right? Your key will be hashed with the Telegram off. So as I jump into it, you see that there's a leaderboard and there's, you know, tasks and these are all um, watch to learn campaigns. Even the video is actually streamed from our data infrastructure. This is, and the whole idea here is that all your interactions or your conversations here are actually being uh, stored and indexed using our infrastructure. So the video, how video is streamed to you and how you actually watch parts of the video. So you can do things like watch to earn. You can also uh, reward user for, for positive behaviors. Now, if I go to, oh, here's a data viewer I've already authored into using my Telegram handle. So this actually, using this, you can actually see all the activities that happened uh, on your data wallet. So here's one that's already preloaded. You see how the Wi-Fi is doing here. Let me just reload it here. So using my, so there's a, already a, a public key address on our blockchain associated with my, with my data wallet. If I hit load, you can see that this event just happened right now and it's fully encrypted. If I decrypt it, it shows that, hey, I just watched a video segment. Um, so this is how you can actually start recording everyone's data in a safe and privacy preserving way. So once you have this established, what we also have is this tool called ROB, it's Real-Time Orchestration Builder. What this does is allow us to register the, uh, there's an agent registry allow us to, to register agents so in this instance, we have agents that are currently deployed and launched on uh, Aether infrastructure that's ready to be invoked at any, at any time. And on top of that, we also have um, the data streams, right? So any developer in the near future will have access to this tool. So these are all the data streams that come into the, uh, the, the Telegram groups. And now on top of this, you also have these things, what we call rafts. They're there to index the conversation dynamically. And you can see how this is actually deployed on top of that. And you can even, uh, in real time, allow these uh, engagements or AI engagements to um, allow the agents to actually engage and access that data. And this is the how the agents will be actually accessing and uh, processing that data as they come in to analyze using NLP models to analyze what is being said. Um, you can even use our sandbox, right, to uh, to run and experiment with it to see what happens if I send uh, an event to that, right? So it's a little slow, but you can see this is the output. Uh, you can also query it right in the data data stream. 
So this allows anyone to deploy AI agents right on top of personal, private, and um, sovereign, um, sovereign data. Sorry about that. And also to show why data sovereignty matters in terms of powering data, data interoperability, we have uh, a new campaign that's ready to launch by with Pineapple guys. They're, they will actually allow people to bring in their conversations that's associated with their data wallets and to better personalize the service for um, each and every participant, right? This is kind of the hyper-personalization that's missing from today's DeFi world and uh, financial world in general. So you can bring your data wallet, and the moment that you're authenticated with, with Telegram, um, your, the key insights that um, this DAX is really interested in, which is what tokens, what topics, what projects you follow, can be directly brought into your user experience, right? So that you, it can customize your user experience for you. And this is just the beginning. So without diving into too much of it, I will um, quickly summarize that this is just the beginning, right? We've shown you um, there's a vast amount of potential here for us. We're just getting started. So the use case number two that I want to quickly demonstrate is um, how we're actually using the same technology to power on-prem data clusters for uh, enterprise and, and sensitive uh, um, uh, enterprise data streams, right? So um, let me quickly... So this, this is the... Hold on, let me reload for a second. This is only going to take one minute. So this is um, a partner that has uh, drone operations that's deployed at many important uh, industry sites that need to uh, that uses its technology, uses our technology to have these AI agents to follow to actually understand what's being seen, and it's in real time is recognizing uh, via these tiny little tags to see what. Uh, what cards and what material are inside these cards, right? And this is something that they struggle with because um, they didn't have the type of data support that we have to be able to unleash a number of AI agents using different approaches and different models to optimize, to try to recognize what is being seen. And as we recognize them, we can also run uh, real-time data enrichment to understand what's inside of those cards, right? So this helps them to optimize resources. So, um, so as we wrap up here, I just want to quickly uh, talk about why um, why this is so important to start thinking differently about the future. Why this is so early? There's so much value to be extracted for you know great projects like Aether and us. We look forward to collaborate on many of these integrations in the near future. And also, we would like to invite everyone here to talk to us and uh, work with us. If you have problems, we'd love to help you solve them, right? Uh, our our uh, uh, stack is ready to deploy. We're ready to work with anyone who you know, wants to talk to us and say, hey, can we solve this problem for you? Um, so this is, again, something that, um, you know, thank you, for, thank you again for Aether team. I'm happy to talk to anyone about what we've shown here. Thank you, guys.